so it is quarter past seven and we are about to leave heading up to Foster this morning so yeah just uh, finally packed the car cars all packed maybe a bit overkill there with the amount of rods considering that's what I'll probably fish out of most of the time cars packed about to get on the road see you on the road okay so I guess there wasn't much premise to this video this morning when I left but essentially I am heading to Foster this weekend uh, with the girlfriend and her family celebrating an old man's 60th birthday and gonna do a bit of fishing so thought I'd take you guys along. I've never fished Foster before. I've actually always kind of dreamed of fishing it for, for brim. Those oyster racks have always been like the place to go for brim, brim fishing in my eyes. Just, you know, at least yellowfin brim. Just It's just been that place where the big brim are and, oh. So I'm pretty pumped to get up there. And it's even better that we go on this time of year. Surface lures, crankbaits, all your hard body options will work so well on the rack so I can get up into them and give them a real good go so I'm, I'm, I'm heaps pumped for that. So the plans are I've got the, the Hobie from work so I'm hopefully going to be able to sneak into these oyster racks we got near our place and then we've got oyster racks and the ones we've got are like 200 metres from the place we're staying because we're staying in a holiday house right on the water. We can pedal, I, I, I can pedal over there of a morning. I'll get three mornings of fishing, a few afternoons of fishing. It, it's gonna be gonna be a heap of fun, so I'm really looking forward to getting there, just relaxing, kicking back. It's a shame it's only four days away, but you know, can't have it all. So I'm gonna get driving and get to going in this Sydney traffic on the way out. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me. Cause I know then you'll see We can be true We can be Alright, I've made it. I'm here. Real good drive. Made good time. We even stopped, had a good break. Everything everything went well, so I'm gonna duck inside. Looks oh looks like a good place. Awesome. Like look through there, straight onto the water. Straight onto it. <laughs> Even a boat ramp here. Out in the Hobie finally for a fish. Last fish I had was just off the off the jetty. Now I'm in a in the Hobie fishing the flats. The tides run out a fair bit. A bit of movement there. I'm hoping to brim around too with it. I'm starting top water because all I want is top water fish. Just gonna work this point round and then on the edge of the racks, work it up round. I have got an hour of fishing time, the Savo. Hour of fishing time for day one. Ooh, something just flicked in front of me. Definitely hoping for some whiting straight up. Ooh, a couple of pelicans hunting the bank there. That's a good sign. Fish across this channel and then hope to get violated. Oh, cool. Look up there, guys. It's a sea, a sea eagle. How cool is that? What a beautiful, beautiful creature. Look at him. Oh, jeez. That's so cool. Oh. Well, I've had a hit. That's a, that's a plus. Yep, got him. Ah, oh, that's one. First brim of the trip. Twenty six to the fork. He is just legal. There we go guys, first brim of the trip. Not huge, but it's a start. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Good fish. Good fish. Gone. F***ing busted me. Straight in under there. Look at that. Absolutely shredded my leader. Alright, so I was just obviously out there and headed back for dinner, but after two bust offs on 10 pound, I've, I've got to go to 16. I'm just going to run a short leader this time. It's fluorocarbons. It's got a bit more abrasion resistance, but you know, the downside to that is it does sink. So I'm just going to run the leader a bit shorter so there's not so much pull down on the lure. I don't know. Bit of fun, but day one and I've lost two lures, so it's a bit of a downer. But today's effort. Like the fish came on the loco. I threw a few other things. I threw the plastic around, threw a crankbait around, but the locos got the hit. Little walkers, and I'm pretty sure most other walkers would have gotten the hits too. They just weren't hitting poppers, weren't hitting many other options on the surface. So, try this tomorrow morning. Uh, change the rigging up, put some stinger hooks on it, smaller treble, and we'll see how we go. Good morning, guys. Welcome to morning two of. Foster. I had a good night's sleep last night and I'm gonna go back to around the area where I was getting the fish before. Looks like the tide's running out a little so I'm gonna focus on, focus on the similar areas I did yesterday. I'm just gonna try to get in as much fishing as possible. It is six o'clock in the morning, quarter past six in the morning. I've got at least, I reckon I think I have at least until midday to fish and then it's off to do family activities. We can be true I want you to see what I see in us Something so real Something so real I want you to see that This is a love That we both feel That we both feel And how will we ever know If the love will ever grow Without trying Without trying Him. Yeah, and if, if you work it out, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, I think it's a pike or a whiting. I think it's a whiting. It's my first whiting. Loco. Yeah. Just continuous. He had a few mates with him too. He's well hooked. Yes. There we go, guys. Just got that whiting on top water. First whiting on top water. I'm pretty excited. I've caught heaps of them on. Uh, other techniques but that's oh, that's just awesome I'm so happy that's one thing ticked off the list of goals for this weekend so let's see what else we can do Hello guys. Yep, just a little one. There we go guys, an oyster muncher himself. Little little brim. Ate the loco in the racks. Fun. Alright guys, let's go over two techniques that I've been using today. Um, Fish in top water over the flats and racks. This is what I really want to do all weekend, so it's great. It's what got me the whiting and it's what got me a heap of brim today. And it's you know 10 o'clock and they're still eating slowly on top water. I've got two techniques, and one's a one's a real just burn, and I'm burning that surface lure as quick as I can over the surface. I'm trying to get it kicking around, looking like a skittering prawn, get him into kind of that reaction, that reaction bite. Next is just the slow walk, as always, just 
kick, 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 get a kick in side to side, and then a pause. And then, well, actually, there's the real three techniques, and then there's the in-between, which is a, the fast burn and big, long pause. Finding all these techniques are kind of getting the, they're all getting bites. It's just using the right one for the right place for the right fish. So it's just pretty much just mixing it up until I get the bite. Yep, yeah, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Calm down, calm down. Yep, yeah, it got him out, got him out, there we go. Ah, uh, that's a Mr. Waiting. Mr. Waiting again. Yes, Mr. Whiting. On the top water. There we go, another one on top water, another whiting. Good fun. That's a little one. That's not quite the size I'm after. Yep. Here we go, a little whiting. Same. They say love.